This video will show you how to subtract fractions. Subtracting fractions can seem complicated, especially when the denominators aren't the same, but we'll show you a quick method to solve any fraction. So an easy example is when the denominators of the two numbers you're subtracting are the same. Like this example, we have 2 fifths minus 1 fifth. Since the denominators, the number on the bottom, is the same, we can just subtract the two top numbers, keeping the denominator the same. So 2 fifths minus 1 fifth gives us 1 fifth. So that's a pretty easy example. This next example seems a little harder, but it's pretty easy as well. So we have 1 half minus 1 quarter. Now we can't just subtract 1 quarter from 1 half because they're not the same thing. It's like subtracting apples from oranges. But we can see in this example that it would be pretty easy to turn our half into quarters. So in this example, we're going to take our 1 half and multiply the top and bottom by 2. So we're going to get 2 on the top and 4 on the bottom. So we took 1 half and now turned it into 2 quarters. Now we have 2 quarters minus 1 quarter. Since those are the same denominator, we can just subtract 2 from 1, leaving us with 1 quarter. Now here's where it gets more complicated. In this example, we have different denominators, and we can't easily make one denominator match the other. So here's where our handy trick comes in play. You can use this for any fraction subtraction problem or addition problem for that matter. So all we have to do here is multiply the bottom numbers. So in this case, we take 5 times 3 and we get 15. That's going to become our denominator of our answer. Then we start in the top left hand corner and we multiply diagonally for, with the other denominator. So 2 times 3 gives us 6. Then we take our other top number, our other numerator, 1, and multiply diagonally with the 5, and we get 5. Now we can take our 6 and our 5, just subtract those following the symbol in the middle of the problem, and we get 1 15th. Now it's not always that easy. We can use this same method, but just make sure that when you get your answer, it's in its simplest form. Take, for example, 5 6 minus 1 quarter. Now we're going to do the same exact technique. We're going to multiply across the bottom. So 6 times 4 gives us 24. We're going to start in the top left and multiply diagonally. 5 times 4 gives us 20. This is why it's really important with subtraction to start in the top left. Because we get 20 and then we go to the right hand side and we get 1 times 6 gives us 6. So if we did this in the wrong order, we could get 6 minus 20, which would give us the wrong answer altogether. But we start in the top left. We have 20 minus 6, which gives us 14. Now this answer is correct, but it's not yet simplified because 14 and 24 can be divided to make a simpler number. So in this case, both can be divided by 2, making our simplified answer 7 over 12. So the method works exactly the same, but our answer just had to be simplified when we came to the end. Now lastly, I'm going to give you an example problem. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil, write this down, and I'll put the answer in the description of the video. So 2 thirds minus 2 sevenths gives us what? Now remember, all you need to do to solve this is multiply across the bottom, then go to the top left, multiply diagonally, then the top right, multiply diagonally, subtract those two numbers, and you've got your answer. Just make sure you simplify if you need to. So write that one down, and when you're ready, check out our other videos, like how to add fractions. Also, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Thanks, and good luck.